everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. And today we're going to work with a website called Tiny Wow, tinywow.com. It's a great name uh, and a great tool or set of tools uh, that do uh, many file management things for you. Um, uh, you might have to you know, pull five or six different tools uh, to do what you can do just in Tiny Wow. Um, what it does is it allows you to merge and extract data from PDFs. You can compress videos in it, MP4 files. Uh, you can convert files over if you want to convert your PowerPoint into a JPEG or your J, uh, uh, PowerPoint into a, a PDF or your PDF into a PowerPoint. Um, you know, there are tools that will do that. You can do that in PowerPoint or you can do that in uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro. But, you know, if you don't have Acrobat Pro or you don't have to have PowerPoint on your uh, uh, computer, which is often the case many times, you know, students working on uh, computers don't have those pieces of software and they need to convert a file, they can do it through this free tool. Everything on Tiny Wow is free and uh, it does many other little things that I'm going to show you with this. It's got a grid out here on the home page that just lists all of its tools, you know, to, uh, video trimming tools. If you need to, you know, cut a video uh, uh, quickly, uh, this is a good place to do it. Uh, add text to an image. If you don't have Photoshop, you know, you can layer text over an image uh, very, very, very quickly. Um, instead of using this big grid, which can be kind of confusing, you're trying to, scanning around trying to find your tool, um, uh, you could go up here to the pull down menus uh, and it will section out just those tools in that given area. It's broken down into PDF, uh, video, uh, images, you know, uh, converting images and uh, layering things over images, uh, and then also file conversions too, you know, especially with spreadsheets, you know, moving CSV to XML, uh, splitting a, a spreadsheet up, um, you know, this set of tools uh, works really, really well for that. Um, so let's play around with some of the tools in here. Uh, one of them I want to show you first uh, is URL to JPEG, okay, the URL to JPEG. You can take a website, uh, drop the link uh, to the website in here, um, and uh, or from a mobile web page as well. It will work. This tool will work on your phone, uh, and uh, convert it into a JPEG, to into an image. So maybe you have a news article that you want to uh, clip. Maybe you, know, you wanted to uh, have it saved as a JPEG. Uh, you can take it. You know, I'll just take this journalist toolbox page right here and paste the URL in. Uh, if you're pulling it off of a mobile device, check from mobile in there. It, uh, it has a little bit different uh, uh, extraction process with responsive uh, uh, with responsive uh, links. It has, always stops you and asks you if you're a robot. You answer no by checking that box. Uh, it'll take a minute for it to process and, and extract uh, that image, but there it is. Uh, you now have a JPEG of your, your web page there. Notice, though, uh, that it kind of blows up uh, embeds. Uh, so maybe if you have something embedded in there, like I have this little Twitter embed there, uh, I can still see the text, but it's kind of funky looking. It drops out some of the fonts, but your HTML text and your images uh, will come through uh, just fine. Uh, you know, then you can uh, uh, download this, uh, you know, save image as, and, and I can just save it. Uh, it always saves everything as a tiny wow uh, to your uh, desktop uh, or your uh, downloads folder. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you know, it's a really, really good little feature. Uh, and I'll go ahead and save this one. Why not? Uh, it's a really great little feature in Tiny Wow, and you can do a lot of really cool stuff uh, with it. It does have some little steps that you can take to uh, learn to use any of these tools as you go along. I'm just walking you through uh, some of the uh, ones that I use quite a bit. Um, PDF, uh, you can do PDF to text. Uh, so if you uh, don't have, uh, you know, Adobe uh, Acrobat and, and you can't, uh, uh, you know, extract, uh, you know, text out of a, a spreadsheet or a, or a PDF into a spreadsheet or a PDF into uh, a Word doc or a text document, um, uh, you know, you can go in here, do PDF to Word, or I'll just do PDF to text, uh, raw text file, and I'll upload my PDF. and. I've got this big data set of Nevada voter registration data in here. I'll just hit open. And I'm not a robot. Um, and it'll take a while for it to process. And then you just download it to your downloads folder. It'll be a tad messy 
Um, not too bad, um, but uh, you know, uh, you might have to clean up some paragraphs, things like that, especially if it's like in a spreadsheet. Um, uh, that, that will uh, have to uh, uh, take a little while. Um, so there it is. Um, and I can display the text or just download it. Um, and I'll display the text just so you can kind of see. Uh, you know, there it is. It's, it's a little messy, but it got the, the da data out of the uh, page and the spreadsheet parts up here. And then uh, some of the footnotes uh, are down here. So, you know, again, you can download it then and, or, you know, you can even co copy and paste it out of here. It also has a little download uh, here out of the inset, uh, out of the uh, inset button or inset uh, uh, field right there. Um, some other tools that you can do. Um, let's go to image, uh, and uh, you can remove backgrounds with this. Be you know, be careful with that. Obviously, uh, you can layer text over an image. Maybe you don't have Photoshop or a, you know, a, a, an editing tool on your phone that'll do it. Um, I'm going to bring in this photo on my desktop of Lakeshore Drive. Big storm they had there back in 1925. Um, you can adjust uh, the color, so I can adjust the color of the type. Uh, you know, I can go a larger font or a smaller font. I'll bring it up here a little bit more. You can, uh, it gives you, you know, a pretty robust list of, uh, of types of fonts here. You know, the, the usual suspects you'll see. Just click into the field and make sure drive Chicago 1925. I live just a couple blocks off of Lakeshore Drive, and I can tell, assure you this, uh, it looks nothing like this anymore. Uh, you can grab this uh, little uh, 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 move tool uh, and move it around you know, to where you want it to be. I'll drop it in the lower left corner here, right on the snow. Um, and then you can hit Generate. And it should be noted too that anytime you convert a file, you know, keep in mind you're uploading these files to the web. Um, so if it's a sensitive document, you might want to you know, reconsider doing that. Also, any uploaded and generated files are deleted after 15 minutes. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, uh, it's something to, to take into consideration uh, when you're working uh, with the file. One of the things it did here, and the reason I did a, a two-layer uh, graphic, is it actually wound up cropping off the second uh, uh, layer text. I probably would need to move this up a little higher um, just because it cropped off. Uh, that second layer uh, of, of text. It will do, you can stack uh, text like that. Um, it just, uh, you know, happened to trim it off the bottom here. I would probably need to move this up about another quarter of an inch to have the whole thing show up. And then I can just go ahead uh, and download. Um, so those are a couple of the tools. Uh, also, uh, if you want to do uh, uh, conversions into PDFs, um, you can go in here and, you know, PDF to PowerPoint. A lot of times I need to pull a PDF presentation and turn it into a PowerPoint so I can present it in a class or something. <clears throat> Just click on this, go find your PDF, and I have this color and type lecture. I'm not a robot. And it converts them, you know, you do have to be a little patient with it, depending on the file size, the amount of slides you have. But this one you know, converted over pretty quickly. It's a pretty short presentation. Um, and I'll go over here into my downloads folder, which is off your screen, um, and go find my PowerPoint. There it is. Anytime it downloads something, it'll label it tiny wow. So you'll have to relabel it, you know. Um, I'll go ahead and open it here. There's there's my PowerPoint. This was originally a PDF that I uploaded. Um, so, you know, you'll have to go through and relabel everything because it always uh, does that uh, to you, when you whenever you uh, drop a uh, file uh, on download. Uh, it'll also merge PDFs together, which is a, a nice feature. I mean, you can obviously do this in Adobe Acrobat, but again, you know, Acrobat costs money. This is a free tool. Uh, so if I wanted to move together uh, this uh, visual vocabulary cheat sheet, uh, along with my uh, color and type lecture. Uh, I would just press down on the shift key, select both files, It'll upload them. It takes a second here and it gives me my two files, one here and one here. And I'll hit the merge button. And it says my PDF is merged. It also walks you through the steps on all these two. It gives you a lower on the page, you know, the steps to follow. I mean, it's pretty WYSIWYG, but, you know, in case you need some help with it. Uh, and then I've got my other uh, merged PDF 
right here. And now I've got my merge PDF. Okay, so tiny wow. You know, spend some time with this. Uh, you know, the video editing tools are okay. I, I would prefer other tools that I've shared on here, you know, VN Video Editor for your phone, uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, many others. Uh, but, you know, if you're in a real pinch and need to trim a video quickly or compress a, a video file, it'll work good with MP4s. Uh, it's also a good GIF maker. You know, if you have a video, you want to turn it into a GIF. Uh, it also helps you download Facebook videos. Uh, you know, many other tools that do that as well. But again, this is kind of a one-stop shop just for you know uh, productivity tools. I think it's a great little productivity site. Uh, and uh, you know, once you kind of get tuned into what's uh, available here, uh, you'll wind up using these tools quite a bit. Uh, that's all I had for now. Um, I did want to mention Journalist Toolbox, journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, we have all kinds of resources up here. Uh, many other tools like Tiny Wow you can find in the digital journalism section. Uh, just go and look under productivity tools. Uh, the graphics and video social section has a lot of these types of tools. Uh, there are links to the tools and there are also uh, uh, videos uh, embedded in here uh, that will help you uh, learn how to use some of these tools as well. Um, so uh, hope this was helpful to you uh, and we'll see you again on our next training video.